Okay, in this video, we're just gonna have a quick look at the brush and the eraser not quite working as you'd expect in Photoshop. So one of the issues um, people have asked me a few times is uh, they've got like the crosshair coming up for um, the brush and the eraser and like how you're supposed to work with that. So y you kind of, um, you can pick obviously your brush size or your eraser size, like whichever one you're using. And then, you know, obviously you, you can't really see where you're working with this. So as you're kind of going, it's it's not really not really that useful, to be honest. So say, for example, we're using the eraser and then we've got the crosshair. You, you sort of don't really know where that's going to cut into this at all. So luckily, it's it's a pretty easy like solution for this. It's basically if the caps lock is on on the keyboard, you'll have the crosshair. <clears throat> and if the caps locks off, you'll have the normal kind of edge in that you'd expect for the eraser. So it just makes it a lot easier to kind of know where you're working. And the same with the brush, you know, if um, if you've got the circle, then obviously it's a lot easier than working with the center point. It's like seeing the outline of it just makes it a lot easier to work, especially in sort of fine detail. If you're just cutting bits off of edges or you're just trying to add very small brush strokes, it just makes it a lot easier. So that is essentially as easy as that. It's literally if you've got caps lock on, you're more than likely going to see the crosshair. If you've got the caps lock off, you're going to see that sort of outer circle or depending on different brush shapes and strokes, you might actually have a slightly different thing to that, but it'll give you the outer edge of it anyway. The only time it gets a little bit more complicated is if you're using an external keyboard and you've got caps lock on on the on a laptop, for example, and then on the external keyboard, you're kind of trying to toggle it on and off and sometimes it gets stuck in between certain um, it might get stuck in the crosshair and you might not be able to switch back so if you're having issues just check on your actual keyboard of your laptop and you know if you've got um, the caps lock off there and you've got it off on the external keyboard then you should be good to go so hopefully this has helped if it has give the video a like if you want to see more content like this then please subscribe